In this video, I want to start off by defining what I mean by a process which has a deterministic trend, and then we're going to compare it with our random walk with drift, which we defined in the last video, which another word for that is saying that it has a stochastic or random trend. Okay, so starting off with the deterministic trend model, the idea here is that we have xt is equal to alpha times t plus some error epsilon t. And just like the case for random walk with drift, we're going to define our epsilon t to be iid with the mean of zero and a variance of sigma squared. So what are the properties going to be like of this particular type of process? So starting off with the mean, the expectation of xt is just going to be equal to alpha t from this particular first term. And the second term is going to yield zero because the expectation of et is zero. So we have that the expectation of xt is alpha t. So we see straight away that this particular process is non-stationary by the definition which we first introduced for a series to be stationary. Okay, what about its variance? The variance of xt, well this first term is not going to contribute anything to the variance because it's just deterministic, it doesn't vary. The only term which is going to contribute determin uh, any sort of variance rather is going to be this error term here. So we're going to have sigma squared coming from the second term. But notice, unlike the expectation, the variance is actually constant throughout time. So we could kind of think about this process as being stationary if we were to take into account a linear time trend is one way of thinking about this. Well, let's contrast this with the case of a random walk with drift. A random walk with drift or a model with a stochastic trend is, let's say we have xt is equal to alpha plus xt minus 1 plus et, which if we can then go on and look at its properties, which we proved in the last video, we know that the expectation of xt in this circumstance is similarly alpha t. But the difference comes in the fact because the variance of xt here is not just a constant sigma squared, it's sigma squared times time. So the variance of this process is increasing throughout time. So how will these two processes look if I draw a graph of them? So in order to draw these processes, first of all, let's start off with our sort of mean line, which is the line x equals alpha times time. So our horizontal axis is t, our y-axis is xt, Okay, so drawing the first process, which is a model with a deterministic trend, well then it's going to actually be very, very close to the trend line. And there aren't going to be any significant deviations of the series away from that trend line. Whereas if you contrast this with the situation of a model which has random walk with drift, then what you will see pretty much straight away is that the series tends to have runs above that. It might go then below that and then continue off off that way or something like that. Another potential realization of a random walk with drift might stay above the mean line and then it might stay there for all sort of time which we're looking at this series. So you can see that even if we were to take into account this linear trend, the process still wouldn't look stationary. Whereas a deterministic trend model, if we did take into account this trend, it would actually look stationary about that trend. But again, I don't want you to take my word for it. I've created a simulation in MATLAB and I'll provide the code below the video such that you can run this simulation yourself. Okay, so here's my program in the bottom right of your screen. As I say, I'm providing this code below the video, so if you want to run this yourself, you're more than welcome. And if I then run this simulation, the pink series here is our deterministic trend model, whereas the blue line is our random walk with drift. And you can see straight away that they are very, very distinct from one another. Even though they both have exactly the same ET in them, they look very, very different. And if I run it again, you can see that it wasn't just a fluke. The magenta line is still very, very close to its deterministic trend, whereas the blue line here represents our random walk with drift. It's only come back to its mean way up at the sort of very end of our time series. So you can see that they're very, very different with the blue line tending 
to get further away from the trend line as time goes on, whereas the pink line shows no such increases in variance.